Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The Diamond DA 627C Twin can be seen at MBAA 2015. The Skigol gets wet. A jetpack circles the Statue of Liberty. I'm Brie Cross, it's November 10th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. There will be a lot of airplane gazing going on at MBAA 2015 that runs between November 17th and 19th, and one of the new aircraft of the show will be the Diamond Aircraft 7-seat DA-62 Twin. The DA-62 is intended to fill a gap in the market that ranges from high-performance single pistons to entry-level turboprops, according to the company. Diamond describes their aircraft as a flying SUV because it offers optional three-row, seven-passenger seating, large payload, and low fuel burn. It incorporates composite airplane construction, jet fuel piston power plants, and advanced avionics integration. A limited number of DA-62s will be available for U.S. delivery, commencing February 2016. The DA-62 on display at MBAA will be available for demonstration flights following the show. Demonstration tour schedules throughout the United States will be announced soon. ANN and Airborne Unlimited will be on hand at MBAA 2015 to bring you all the latest news in business aviation. The Skigol, which is a next-generation seaplane developed by Rutan and Reagan Designs, has begun its initial testing. According to a report from the Cordelline Press, Bert Rutan, along with a group of skilled supporters, placed his Skigol in the water for the first time and commenced with testing its water capabilities. The report indicated that when taxiing at low speeds, the amphibian handled very well, stability was good, and the water rudder was very effective. However, as the taxi speed was later increased, it was determined the pitch angle of the hull was too low. Rutan was quoted as saying in part, quote, I was delighted with the low speed maneuverability and how easy it was to launch and recover the ski goal. As for improving the pitch trim, we have several options that we are evaluating. Overall, I am very pleased with the results of our testing so far, end quote. In the classic Rutan style, testing challenges simply provide guidance to move in the right direction to achieve the desired outcome. After the break, a jet pack that is really powered by a jet engine. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Science fiction became science fact in New York last week when an aviator flew by jetpack in a controlled and sustained flight around the Statue of Liberty. Soaring high across the Hudson River, Australian entrepreneur David Maiman became the first person to prove the viability of personal flying devices. Maiman's flight was the culmination of a 10-year challenge to design and build a lightweight, wearable flying device that will allow people to take to the skies. The JB-9 miniature jet turbine backpack was developed by Nelson Tyler and Maiman and is fast, powerful, and unlike rocket-powered belts, safe and practical to operate according to the inventors. Maiman said in part, quote, It was an incredible experience, one I have been dreaming of since I was a young boy. It's a culmination of decades of work by Nelson and me. They have established the company Jetpack Aviation to continue research and development and commercialize their invention. Nelson said, quote, We will continue to develop the technology and have already created an extraordinary machine, truly the only jetpack in the world, end quote. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. 
Here's this week's Arrow Calendar. The air show season is coming to a close, but not in Fairview, Oklahoma. The folks in Fairview celebrate Veterans Day with the world's oldest free fly-in and air show on Saturday, November 14th. This is the 64th annual free air show presented by Fairview to honor our veterans. They have some top-notch performers and a hometown feeling. There's even a free turkey dinner for every 10th airplane that arrives. Moving on to California, the Ramona Airport in the city of Ramona is holding their 2015 Ramona Airport Open House on November 14th. Represented will be the Tuskegee Airmen, the U.S. Forest Service, the Young Eagles, the Antique Airplane Association, the San Diego 99s, Women in Aviation International, Pilots and Paws, and much more. It's free to attend. A turnaround takes us back to Oklahoma to the Jones Riverside Airport in Tulsa, where you can link up with EAA's B-17. It will be on display giving tours and providing rides on the weekend of November 14th and 15th. EAA's Flying Fortress is one of only 13 still flying. Here's another reminder about MBAA's Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition that takes place in Vegas on November 17th through the 19th. It will bring together 25,000 key aviation contacts from around the world, including current and prospective business aircraft owners, manufacturers, and customers, into one meeting place. The ANN crew is packing up and will be there to bring you all the news. After these messages, Sikorsky and Lockheed are officially joined. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to bendixking.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Lockheed Martin has closed its acquisition of Sikorsky Aircraft, and Sikorsky is now aligned under the Lockheed Martin Mission Systems and Training Business segment. Sikorsky will retain its headquarters in Stratford, Connecticut, and is now known as Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin company. A Bombardier Global 6000 aircraft, owned and operated by NetJets, recently set a new standard for speed. Flying from Aspen, Colorado to London, England, and then on to Lugano, Switzerland, the long-range Global 6000 aircraft set two new city pair speed records. Rolls-Royce and LeBaire Aerospace have named their 5050 joint venture program. The new company is to be known as Aerospace Transmission Technologies. They are developing manufacturing capability and capacity for the power gearbox for Rolls-Royce's new ultrafan engine design. Airlines for America President Nicholas Calio urged Congress to build on our nation's role as aviation's leader by developing a modern and efficient air traffic control system. He said our nation can no longer afford to rely on an outdated system. Sikorsky has completed the preliminary design review for the VH-92A Presidential Helicopter Replacement Program. They announced completion of the integration and performance testing of mission communication system components and Sikorsky's acceptance of the second S-92A aircraft for the program. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Dan Pointer, the author of Parachuting, the Skydiver's Handbook, and many other titles, passed away last Monday following a recent medical complication. He was 77 years old. He was involved in parachute design and became a specialist in the field, 
One of his early books, The Parachute Manual, a technical treatise on the parachute, was released in 1972. He was also an avid skydiver and hang glider. His book, Parachuting the Skydiver's Handbook, was first published in 1978 and has been called one of the cornerstones of skydiving literature. He later wrote the bestseller, Hang Gliding, which remains one of his most recognized works. Recreational aviation has lost a true friend, and we at ANN pass along our condolences to his family. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.